Hi everyone, I am Dr. Rohan Khandelwal and I am the Marrow Surgery Faculty. Some of you know that I had also recorded the Marrow 3.0 version and now with Marrow 4.0, I first want to highlight what are the changes in the surgery module so that I don't want you to get disturbed and tensed about the changes. These changes have been made for your benefit, right? So my first thing which I want to highlight in this video is what to expect in Marrow 4.0 what to expect in 4.0 surgery. Right, so what are the changes which we've made? We have recorded close to 60 to 65 hours of video. This is an increase of almost 8 to 10 hours as compared to last time. And this increase has happened because there have been a lot of updates and changes with the new Bailey edition coming up, new guidelines coming up, there have been changes there. Now, I know that some of you have seen the old videos and some of you are tensed regarding the changes. But you have to understand that in life, change is a constant thing, right? And you need to embrace change. Don't get scared of change and don't just settle down. So the only thing which settles down is dust. But you want to keep on moving and evolving because this is for your own betterment, right? So 60 to 65 hours of lectures. At the end of all modules, all modules, I have added two things. At the end of all modules, I have had added some questions for quick revision. Now, in majority of the modules, I'm saying 90% of the modules, these questions are there. For some of the modules, I'm still in the process of recording these questions. They will be updated in due course of time. So if you don't see them in some of the modules, just be patient. They will be updated in a few days time, right? So questions are there at the end of each module. How do you at attempt these questions? So once you've listened to the entire lecture, then when you see the question, I want you to pause the video, first solve the question in your mind, and then you play it and see the answer. That's what I want you to do. The second thing at the end of every module is a special two minute session for the final year students where I have told in each module what is important from the what is important from the professional exam point of view and the practical exam point of view in every module I have highlighted that as well. Okay. Again, for some of the modules this might be missing, it will be added. So be patient there. Of course, I've also added some pictures which I like to click at the end of some modules or in the middle of some modules. This is just one of the examples. This was a tiger by the name of Arrowhead and I clicked this picture at Ranthambore. It was known, known as Arrowhead because there was a narrow mark on the tiger's forehead. And let me tell you a simple thing. It took me at least 200 shots to get this picture right. right? There were a lot of blurred shots. There were a lot of shots where I could only get half the tiger but finally because I wanted to get this picture I was persistent and I was patient I managed to get this picture so that is what I want you to be when you are attempting the marrow surgery modules and when you're listening to the videos be patient gradually you will grasp the concept of surgery and you will find it interesting in due course of time it is a high yield topic so don't ignore surgery at all. I am going to talk about how to prepare. But before that, quickly, I want to go over the Bailey chapters. And I want to tell you which Bailey chapters are important for you and where are they in this surgery module. So all these chapters, metabolic response to surgery, this is with trauma. This is in the trauma module, the basic trauma module. Shock and blood is a separate module on itself. Wounds is with plastic surgery module. Wounds is with plastic surgery module. Surgical infection, there is a separate module for surgical infections. Tropical infections and infestations, I have covered all throughout wherever there was an opportunity. Basic surgical skills and anastomosis is a separate module. Laparoscopic surgery, minimally invasive surgery is a separate module. Pediatric surgery, now this I want to highlight. Pediatric surgery, I have covered wherever the pediatric surgery disorder was there. The, it is not a separate module, so don't get disturbed about it. If it was tracheoesophageal fistulas, I've covered it in stomach, 
as if I have covered it in esophagus, if it was epispadias, hypospadias, I have covered it in urethral disorders. So, preoperative care and postoperative care, these are there in various general surgery modules. So, these are there in the general surgery modules, I have covered each and every aspect of this. Nutrition is a separate module by itself. Trauma, I have covered each and every module separately. So, these you should know. Also, the ones you can save these images, the ones which I have highlighted for final year students, you should read these chapters from Bailey and you should first watch the videos and then you should read the chapters. It's going to become really easy for you. Again, all the trauma chapters I've covered separately as separate modules. Orthopedics has been covered beautifully by Dr. Abbas. Skin and subcutaneous tissue, this is a separate module. Burns is a separate module. Plastic surgery is a separate module. Okay. Cleft lip, cleft palate is with plastic surgery only, is with plastic surgery. Pharynx, larynx and neck, there are neck swellings which are there in common swellings module. So, if you do not find them elsewhere, they will be in the common swellings module. Okay. Oral cavity is a separate module, salivary glands is a separate module, thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal, breast, separate modules. I want to highlight that in adrenal, I have also covered neuroendocrine tumors that is carcinoid tumors. So, when you are searching for carcinoid tumors, search this module for carcinoid tumors please. Vascular disorders, all are separate modules which I have done. All the abdominal modules are separate. All abdominal surgery modules are separate. I have done them. All urology modules have been done separately. Okay. Transplant is a separate module altogether. So, this is one thing which I wanted to highlight that I have covered everything but I just wanted to highlight where these modules would be present in the marrow 4.0 recordings. Now, coming to people who are preparing for the entrance exam, how are you going to approach marrow 4.0 surgery? So, my request to you would be to watch videos, would be to watch the videos and solve the marrow Q bank. And when you are solving the Q bank, your aim should be to target more than 70%. Right. If you are getting more than 70 to 75 percent, that means you have understood the concept. Okay. Also, I would recommend that you make your own notes because only when you make your own notes will you understand things. Otherwise, if you are just reading notes out of elsewhere, then the retention power is not there. So, make your own notes. That is going to be helpful. I have added a lot of new images and updates and you should focus on the new images and updates because these are potential questions for your exam. There are various ways how you can contact me. You know I can be contacted on Facebook through the Marrow Links group or my own Facebook group or the Telegram group. If you have doubts, please reach out to me and you can clarify your doubts and questions from me there. For final year students, my biggest advice to final year students is that please go to the clinics. Please go to clinics. The way the exam pattern is changing, more and more practical questions are coming. So, your clinics and your internship are of paramount importance. So, do not miss out on your clinics. Now, my request to you, watch the videos and then read Bailey if you have time. I have already highlighted the chapters which you need to read from Bailey. And trust me, if you watch the video and then read Bailey, you can easily finish chapters very quickly from Bailey. For clinical examination, read SDAS or whatever clinical methods book you are following. Please read a clinical methods book and do not be shy of examining cases and presenting them in the ward. Please remember that the more you practice, the better you are going to get at it. Do not be afraid of getting things wrong and do not be afraid of failure. When you are a final year student, you have everything to learn and failure should not deter you. Also for final year students, the MCQs given at the end of every video module are enough for you. If you do not have time, do not do the Q bank right now. You can do it during your internship. Focus on building your concepts. And also please, the videos are enough. Videos are enough for your professional exams. And at the end of each video, I have already told you that two minutes I have devoted in telling you what are the topics important from that module for your professional exams. Right. So, this is how you should go about it. Again, make your own notes because these notes are going to be helpful for you in the future as well. Now, finally, I would just 
end by saying that show some love to surgery show some love to surgery and enjoy the surgery videos i have added some interesting videos and in interesting demonstrations to make surgery more interesting for you and i would love your feedback on those techniques as well hope you enjoy the surgery 4.0 marrow modules